This is an article from Fox 8 Web Central. Uh, I received it from Orbital, I believe. Funny or fat shaming, mom faces backlash over a six pack abs Instagram photo. Just scroll down. You're probably wondering why I'm not showing screenshots of the article itself because my computer likes to be an ass sometimes and it's mainly because of the battery. I don't know why. I gotta replace it someday. West Sussex, England. A mom is. Is it at. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. A mom is at the center of a six pack abs controversy after posting a photo on Instagram showing her abs with her daughter standing next to her, pointing at her stomach, and the caption, I have a kid and six pack and no excuse. Which is good, you know. It, it's really, you know, uh, not very often that you see a mother um, being this fit. You know, bravo, I, I have to say. Um, you live, y you. You have a very healthy lifestyle, and, you know, for a mother, it's no easy feat. You know, um, under the photo, it has this to say. I've been getting a lot of stick for this picture recently. I posted it back in February, and it seems to have spread all over the internet, and has even made the local papers this week. I've been accused of adding to unnecessary pressure to put on women and more specifically moms to lose weight. There's nothing wrong to encourage people to lose weight. If you feel that you're happy the way you are, then that's fine. Don't go to the gym. Stuff, stuff your face with sandwiches and cheeseburgers and pizzas and french fries and soda. Do that. Do what you want. Okay? But this person is not coming to knock on your door and say, listen here, you fat piece of shit. Lose some freaking weight. You are a menace to society. This person is not doing this. What she's doing is basically encouraging folks that she is a mother. And there is no excuse out there that can prevent you from losing weight or even becoming muscular. Hell, there's nothing stopping me from becoming muscular myself. And I, I, I gotta say that I may not be the fittest guy out there, but at least, at the very least, I attempt to walk a little every once in a while. Hell, sometimes I walk to Manhattan. And, you know, it's, it's like a 20-minute walk there. And uh, sometimes I go exploring in Manhattan. Hell, I'm going to visit a friend there in, in Manhattan pretty soon. But guess what? I I'm a bit chubby myself. And um, I'm perfectly fine the way I am. But if I wanted to lose some weight or even become more muscular, guess what? I gotta stop eating pizza. I gotta stop eating cheeseburgers. I gotta stop... Stuffing my face down with lots of unhealthy food and start focusing on working out and dieting. That's, that's, it may be a bit difficult, but at least you're trying. So it's better to try and fail than to not try at all. I would like to clarify that this is not my objective whatsoever. The message I want to portray is that all the women, moms, or girls who aren't happy or confident with themselves and the reason they don't try to do anything about it is because they think it would be too hard or even impossible to get results. Everyone could make excuses. Too many people think it's easier not to try than to risk failure. It's not the case. I don't want to make other fi women feel bad about themselves. I want them to look at me and think, if she can do it, so can I. Because you can. I don't live in the gym. I don't eat nothing but rabbit food. I do have a ton of other time-consuming commitments and days that stress me out. I crave chocolate and wine, and sometimes I'd rather spend my evenings sat on a sofa eating hop knobs, <coughs> <coughs> eating hop knobs and watching TV than sweating my butt off at the gym. 
but I make time for exercise and I make healthy choices when it comes to what I eat. It's about priorities and I don't regret the choices I made. It's not easy, but it's a lot easier than looking in the mirror every day and not feeling happy with the reflection staring back at you. Be happy, be healthy, and empower others to feel the same. Well spoken. You know, well done. And, um... The message sort of end here. Andy Pell, 33, a nutritionist and fitness competitor from Britain, says she thought it would be funny, but many have accused her of fat shaming other other moms and setting a bad example for her little girl. Which is utterly, completely stupid. How in the world is this fat shaming? All she is doing is simply just encouraging other f women to lose weight if they are uncomfortable the way they are. It doesn't matter if, you know, if you're a mother and you would rather eat chocolate or drink wine or whatever, or be lazy, you can change if you put effort to it. The same way as I can change. You know, all I gotta do is just add a little effort and that's it. I will see results in like maybe Four to eight weeks. Uh, and even my pal, Warcorp666, he's losing weight. Last time I heard, he lost about 10 pounds. Which is, you know, really good for him. You know, he's being more healthier. And, you know, I want Warcorp666 to live a long life. Because, you know, being fat isn't exactly a great way to live, in my opinion. But, this person is not going out there to shame fat people. Okay? There's nothing wrong with being fat. But you've got to stop acting like these insecure pieces of shit about every, every, every thing that involves skinny folks. Encouragement of losing weight. It is not fat shaming fat being fat is not a race it's not a skin color it's not um it's not a sexuality it's not um it's not your gender it's not any of those you chose to be fat you chose to stuff your face with lots and lots of unhealthy food and the end result is that you are very very fat that is the truth and if you can't handle it, then get the hell off this planet. Okay? We're, I'm really sick and tired of super sensitive folks here on, here, on the internet. About details, about such pathetic things. Fat shaming, um, slut shaming, uh, all kinds of shaming. It's ridiculous. You know, this is something that a child will complain about. <sighs> okay. I know there's a show going on somewhere. About this woman. Who gained 50 pounds. And then decides to lose that weight. By exercising. You know. And a lot of women. Fat folks. You know, say that this is a form of fat shaming. That this is a hate crime. It's not a hate crime. It's just encouragement. Encouragement to lose weight. And if you still feel that the way you are is that you're, you you feel fine the way you are, then go for it. I'm not going to stop you. You know, I'm not going to go into your life and force you to go into a diet. All right? That's all. That's all I have to say for now. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google Plus. We all know Google Plus fucking sucks.